you guys and welcome to today's video so we are doing my 2021 full christmas home tour so i'm going to show you everything that we did this year for our christmas decorations inside and out i hope you're excited to see it i'm excited to share it with you it's one of my favorite videos to make to kind of show how everything pulled together um throughout the holiday season i did a series uh part one two three i think maybe four i'm not sure um but now you can kind of see all of everything how it kind of goes together um from one room to the next so we're going to start outside the front porch and there we have some other outdoor decor that i'll show you too and then we will work our way indoors but also I'm gonna try to, right now it's the afternoon, so I'm gonna try to get some clips tonight of outside of everything lit up. Um, trying to avoid, I don't like showing my home like the full front of my house, but I can still show like pieces that we have outdoors for you guys. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Um, let's get into today's video, I'm so excited. Before we begin, look at the sweetest Santa. <gasps> ho, 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 Remy, sit, stay, Remy, stay. Okay, he's, he wants to be all about the camera. How cute are you? <gasps> ho, 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 Remington. Oh, he's bringing everybody all the gifts, even though he is on the naughty list for sure. Okay, so I'll kind of show you. As you can see, this is the back side of our fence, but we have some garland that lights up over here, and there's some red bows all around the here front. Here is the garland that we put on the fence with the red bows. The garland we got from... Home Depot and then the red bows they're kind of hard to see at night we got from Amazon and I'll link them down below for you guys I will show you if I go up close um, we have these light up gift baskets and this cute little polar bear holding up a gift and then we have these like swirly trees and then my husband actually made there's like an archway right here that lights up really fun um, This is our 14 foot Santa, you guys, he's so cute. We found him at Walmart. For Halloween, we do a big Frankenstein here and I found this Santa and was like, he would go perfect. So as you can see, I'm trying to get you a good view of him, but he was really, really cute. The kids love him. I think this is our most, my most recent video was the front porch, but just real quickly, I'll go through. As you can see, we've got our snowman, our lanterns. I wrapped our old hay bales with the faux fur or the faux snow, and then just used some garland to kind of gives it a more whimsical look. We have our marquee light snowman who kind of matches big mama over here and then our vintage lamp post so i will show you guys the nighttime um view of this it's gorgeous i did share it on instagram a few days ago so um follow me on instagram because i also share stuff there as well and then we have our fun snowflake rug with our very old buffalo check runner underneath we definitely need to get a new one but for now it's fine and now So as you walk in to our home, this is the foyer, and as you can see, our tree is right here um, next to the stairwell. And this is something that I added that I did not show. I added garland all the way around, all the way to the balcony. It just looks so beautiful. I am so glad I added that. We had ended up buying some for the fence, for the fence, for the fence, <laughs> but um, it we didn't have quite enough. So I just went ahead and used it up here um of this type of garland but it's so cute i'll get a little closer and then our tree of course this was one of our main videos for the christmas series we kept it very simple we used the deco mesh the fun star on top and then i think definitely my favorite are these large snowflakes because they take up a lot of space so kind of eye-catching and our fun little bubble ornaments Okay, so we'll make our way over here into the formal dining room. And this is our super fun gingerbread land tablescape. Um, I did a rearrange a few things. I added these candy cane type of trees over here. It was all gingerbread and they were the items were kind of smaller as you can see. And I feel like I needed some height out here toward the end. So I took um, some, some of the smaller pieces out and then added those. And I think it just looks a little more balanced. So I'll go through and show you. 
these fun candy cane trees were from um, at home. All this uh, gingerbread stuff was mostly from at home. Some was from Hobby Lobby. And this beautiful gingerbread house we inherited from my father-in-law. Absolutely gorgeous. And this fun Santa cooking his little gingerbread village. He looks so cute with his chef hat. And then I use this kind of white fluffy runner to resemble snow and these cute little sparkly snowballs. And then the place setting, we have our peppermint, um, little peppermint plate with a silver, I forget what these are called, and then this red and silver placemat. And I found these cute little name tag holders from at home. I didn't realize they were name tag holders until I saw the little piece up top. So they are adorable. They are at each setting on the table. And then we have just our red napkins with our white stitching and these cute reindeer um, napkin ring holders. I got this from Amazon. These fun peppermint plates were from Michael's last year and I'm pretty sure they brought them back. So very, very cute. Okay, so now we are in the bar area. As you can see, this is our wine wall, and we have these two gorgeous nutcrackers guarding all my wine for me. Thank you, gentlemen. They are so cute. They are taller than me. Um, we did get these from my father-in-law as well, and they are just absolutely gorgeous. And then my husband strung these lights. These are the same ones that we used outside on the arch of the polar bear and they have different settings so they can twinkle they can go solid they can go from bright to dim um, or they can alternate all different settings so i just have them twinkle because i think it's pretty up against the wine bottles but it's definitely a fun christmas view but i keep them up all year round because to me it's just it's so pretty you can throw it when you have a party you can toss them on we had them on for the halloween party and it was just fun really really fun idea so hubby did good with that and then if you go right over here we kept our bar area pretty simple this year um i did add uh, this sign what happens under the mistletoe stays under the mistletoe i got this from hobby lobby a few years back we have our silver lantern i love lanterns they're just so they just scream christmas to me for some reason even though you can use them all year round i get more of a christmas holiday vibe from them this greenery to bring in some green over here these martini glasses martini shakers and this very cute silver reindeer and then i just added another greenery over here oh no you guys santa is sleeping on the job santa rem remy you're sleeping on the job? We gotta show them. They wanna see. Not today? Okay, he's ready, he's ready. Okay, so now we're going into the living room. So this is just right when you walk into the door. This is the first view that you have. And I put some green over here with these fun little I guess they're Christmas tree type bushes, I don't know, but they're very cute, they're flocked, they have these little silver balls on them. And then these cute sequence deer, look how gorgeous they are. I got these from at home, I think two years ago, and they brought them back last year, and I believe they're back again this year. In fact, I think they even have more sizes this year, so very cute and fun. This wooden Noel sign, with the, it's kind of like a beaded snowflake in between, and then I just added another tree over here to kind of balance it in all together now walking this way we have the fire going it is a little chilly today which is pretty rare in texas so you know i like to take advantage of that um but i'm gonna start with the mantle this was one of my favorite mantles that i've done probably since we've been in the house holiday wise even even i love my halloween but i think this one may it just makes me a little more happier so we'll go through this is Lexi. The kids' pictures always stay there. We have the, a lot of word art over here just because it kind of fits so well. Um, Joy with this cute snowman. He's one of my favorites. I believe I got him from Hobby Lobby and I could not pass him up. I, I have a snowman obsession. Um, this fun sign that says Merry and Bright. And then some more word art piece. And then if you go up here, I'm kind of short, you guys, so I'm going to try to give you a good view. But 
the sign it says we wish you a merry christmas it brings the red in we've got these stacked gift boxes um in silver i got those from at home and then i love the garland with the little holly berries which kind of brings in a little more red so the theme is definitely mostly white and silver with pops of red this cute merry christmas sign it's glass and then it has like the snowy trees on it with snow coming down really cute that actually lights up but i didn't put batteries in it so it's but it's very very cute another some more water wish with the this red votive that i got from target last year and then this is one of my favorite pieces i got this year new believe in the magic of christmas and it's kind of like a little swing very cute and then colton so over here on the mantle, this I really liked how this turned out well too. Similar to last year, but a little different. Um, this is our travel tree. So we have the fun snowman topper hat on there. And all these ornaments, the majority of these ornaments are from trips that we have taken. So you can kind of see, this was when we went to Harry Potter land. My daughter got um, one with her name on it. My son got his from Universal, a minion with his name on it jellystone park when we went camping this is from harry potter world as well we used to live in a camper so we have this camper right here and this was disney so we went to kalahari we just like to grab um when we're out on our trips an ornament to kind of remember it by and then this is just a fun i found this at i think it was hobby lobby um just suitcases really fun this is probably my favorite tree forever and ever because it's just memories and I love it. And then down here we have the red sleigh. Remy likes to get it, well he doesn't like to get in here but it's definitely a cute photo op for him. With this Merry Christmas pillow, it was $10 from Target and I just put like a white blanket in between to kind of fill it out in there. And this is our fireplace for stockings. This was our Christmas photo last year. I need to get this redone because none of us look like that. We've all grown one way or another so we need to redo it but that's what we're going with this year so i have these really cute snowflake decorative pieces on each side they actually do light up but they light up multicolor. um i really wanted them to light up like that warm white that we kind of have like this over here on the tree so i don't really turn them on um i may turn them on for christmas eve i don't know but i kind of just leave them there because they kind of look icy so it's it's still really pretty and then this garland is just pine cones with some greenery and i believe that was from michael's Okay, and I also wanted to show you guys up here. This is kind of the game room balcony area, but my husband, he ended up putting the garland over here as well. And then these ribbons, how festive is he? So I don't know if you can see, but they are silver little ribbons and just evenly put up there. But I love how it looks all lined out, especially at night when the lights are out and we're watching a movie, it's so cozy. And I can't forget my holiday candle. So this candle holder is from Bath & Body Works. I did a haul on that and they had some really, really fun candle holders, but the candle inside is luxurious ambiance and it's in the scent Christmas morning. It smells amazing, absolutely amazing. So pretty. Okay, so now we're walking into the kitchen. I think this is one of my favorite areas to decorate this year. I love the trees. I love the poinsettias, it just, kind of works over here. I wasn't sure how this was going to work, but it came out, it turned out really good. So, um, the lighting in the back, let me get a close up of that because it's so pretty. I got it from Costco and it's these, obviously the lights, but it's these like crystally little pieces. So it looks like icicles. It really does. It's so pretty. I'm so, and I, when I went to Costco, I was like, I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I need to put it somewhere and it does really well behind these. It just kind of makes them all shimmer. So the poinsettias were from Amazon and they do leave a lot of glitter. So if you're not into glitter, these are not for you, but they are so beautiful. And I just use them as like space filler pretty much. They kind of made them like garland, even though they're individual. So as you can see, they kind of go on each side. And then these are our different trees. These trees are all from different places. I believe Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby at home 
uh, I think Hobby Lobby. I think this reindeer was from at home. It's kind of like a paper mache. It's super lightweight, but very pretty. Um, and then I believe this is at home and this was at home. So you can find these pretty much Hobby Lobby, these fun, I don't know, I mean, they're trees, but they're kind of different. So I find them at, at home and Hobby Lobby. I have too many, I have more in storage that I didn't use. I don't know why I like them so much, but I do. So this is our fun little table over here. And then I do have a little Christmas plug-in, our snake plant, um, that was from Bath and Body Works. And it lights up full snowflakes, super pretty. And in the kitchen, we didn't do much in here because I did so much everywhere else. I was pretty much just done with it. So we have this fun snowman that swirls with um, glitter. He's like a snow globe, but he's battery operated. So you don't have to shake him, which is really cool. And he changes colors. And then this fun word art over here by the coffee. Ignore this. I have to cook. So um, those are ingredients for some desserts. Um, I have this cute little tree that's in it looks like a little espresso mug that tis the season and then this fun lamp post and then over here i did have a wreath up here you guys it fell and i didn't mess with it i just got rid of it <laughs> so i just put it back up i'm like no it's okay we're not gonna have a wreath over here this year but i do have this snowman candy jar or cookie jar i got him from hobby lobby he's really really cute he's got all of our candy canes in it and then i found this came with actually remy's santa outfit but he chewed it he chewed the string off of it so i just hot glued it onto this cute little snowman so now he has a santa hat it's really cute i think it looks good so you know one man's trash is another man's treasure He's fun. And then over here we have, of course, our Santa boots, some greenery, some candy canes, and this sign. Our cheeks are nice and rosy and comfy cozy, are we? I believe I got this sign. I think I thought I got it from Hobby Lobby, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think I got it from Tuesday morning. Do y'all have a Tuesday morning near you? Because they have really, really cute stuff too. So the kitchen, we kept it very simple. you guys that is it for today's video and this may be vlogmas day one i don't know because i'm undecided right now as i'm filming it so i'm going to try to do vlogmas i'm going to try to have as many videos that i can put out for christmas cleaning christmas gifts christmas stocking stuffers teacher gift ideas more cleaning all of it i'm gonna have to sit down and really try to think of ideas but i really want to do it i think it'd be a lot of fun and challenging for me and i'm ready to accept a challenge so we will see if this ends up being vlogmas day one i don't know we'll see but i hope you guys liked it i love how the decor turned out this year christmas decorating for halloween and christmas are definitely my favorite there's just something so magical about christmas especially when you're enjoying a christmas movie with your family on the couch and you have all the whimsical lights around you lit up it's just the coziest feeling and it just makes me so happy. So I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you're subscribed. And maybe I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to decide. We'll see. Bye, guys.